might say that I'm a loner. Welcome back to a new vlog. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so excited to vlog for the next few days. I'm really excited, especially for tomorrow. I have a lot of fun things planned, so I definitely wanted to vlog over the next few days, but today is Wednesday when I'm starting. It's Tuesday. It's Wednesday when I'm starting this video. We got home from Ohio last week, which was a really great trip and just kind of getting back into the swing of things. We have a solid week and a half home, which we've been traveling quite a bit lately. And so it's nice to have some time at home. I'm probably gonna end up vlogging through the weekend maybe, or just Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll see. I have one more thing that I need to do today, but I figured it'd be nice to break up the day by going for a little walk. I'm gonna grab an afternoon coffee, which I've been trying not to do, but I didn't really have caffeine this morning, so I'm kind of justifying it, but in the mood for an afternoon coffee because I have lots to get done today. And then after that, when Amy gets home with the car, I'm gonna run just a couple of errands. I wanna pick up some groceries to make some dinner tonight. I'm not gonna do anything crazy though. I'm honestly just gonna go in and buy some stuff. I'm not really in the mood to do like a full on grocery shop. So excited for tomorrow though, because I'm actually doing an afternoon tea with my friend Melissa. I've been wanting to go to, it's the Adolphus Hotel. They do, I think I'm saying that right. They do like an afternoon tea and I think it's especially really nice during Christmas time, but they have a summer one and this one's Alice in Wonderland themed. So, you know, I really can't pass it up. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So we're doing that, getting my nails done. It's gonna be a fun day and then also, we have some stuff playing over this weekend, some things I wanna work on, and so I'm really excited. And I'm also really excited to show you guys my outfit because I'm loving this kind of casual vibe today. My tea is from Cut, so this is the Tomboy tea. It's my favorite tea out of all the ones that they have. It's like a thicker material, and it is so comfortable. I love the chocolate brown color, too. I think it's really beautiful. My necklaces are from Madewell. This one is from Ana Luisa, but I don't think they sell it anymore, so I always try to link one that's similar. My shorts that I'm wearing are from Target. These are actually sleep shorts, but I think they're so comfortable. I have them in a medium. I think that they're really comfortable, and then I'm just wearing my high top platform Converse. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? popping outside right now because it is actually raining right now. I've never experienced rain in this new apartment, which is so cool. You can hear it right now. Also, I have to say I came back from Ohio and my Monstera is looking so sad. I think it's because whatever this fungus is, or I don't even know whatever this is that's growing on it, I'm pretty sure I killed it because it was right when I started noticing all this stuff and I've wiped it down, I've tried to clean it and it keeps coming back. So I have no idea what it is, but it is so sad and wilted, which I hate. I haven't had this one for that, that long. And then there's also a leaf dying down there. So let me know if you think I can save it or if I should just let it go. I can't really tell what the deal is here, but yeah, these leaves are so sad up here. They're just <laughs> wilting like, crazy need to figure out what to do with this but i also tried to propagate this one too from my monstera and it totally did not work and i wanted to ask you guys every time i try to propagate a plant it does not work and i have all of these clippings from my pothos that i want to plant but every time i try to plant these propagations they never succeed so i am not really great with plants. I feel like I have a lot of plants and I'm decent. This one is actually one of my most successful ones because when I bought it, it was about this high. So I feel like I've done a good job with this one, but for some reason, every time I try to plant the propagations, this ends up happening. So let me know if you have any tips. Cash is actually out of dog food, so I'm picking up some dog food for Cash. And I wanted to share upside with you guys because I'm also about to go fill up the car with some gas. And obviously, you guys know that gas and groceries and basically everything has been expensive as of lately. And so I wanted to share upside if you are interested in actually getting cash back on a lot of things that you purchase every single day. And I just want to say this isn't gimmicky. We've been using this for the past month or so, and we do drive a Jeep, so it is pretty expensive to fill up our Jeep's gas tank. But I feel a lot better knowing that I use up 
Upside to actually get cash back. And essentially how it works is you just download the app Upside. It is a free app. You actually go to the business. So for me, I'm gonna get gas, but you can do restaurants. I'll have a few different restaurants that you can visit on the screen, but it depends on your area, what actually offers cash back. But I'm about to go get gas. So you basically just open up the app on your phone and you will check into the business. Most businesses you can check into, but if you can't, you can also just scan your receipt too. So you can do it that way too, but it's obviously a lot easier just to do the check-in method. Then you make your purchase, but just make sure you do it before the offer expires. You have like a few hours from when you check in and then you just pay with your credit card or your debit card. You can't pay with cash. It has to be a card purchase and you will collect cash back for that offer. Usually it's around like $10 cash back, which is absolutely crazy when you think about how much you fill up your car. This is our only car, so we use it quite a bit. You can get a lot of money cash back on those purchases. Okay, it's me from the future because it took a few days for this to process. It sometimes takes a couple of days and I wanted to share that. From that gas station trip, I will insert a screenshot, but I made $11 off of that, almost $12 actually, which is crazy. If you think about how much you fill up your car and getting that much back each time is awesome. So I feel like a lot of these things, they are points or royalty programs or something like that, but this is actual cash back that you can just transfer directly to your bank account or you can also do an Amazon gift card, a different kind of gift card if you want to do that. You can download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play and use the code MICHELLE-R to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. And yeah, I would totally recommend get some cash back on purchases that you're already making every single day. Make I just got soaked running in from the grocery store, but I actually really am thankful for it because it hasn't rained in so long. It's actually nice getting soaked in the rain. Very thankful and thank you Jesus for this beautiful rain. It is 7.45 though, so I don't think I'm gonna make dinner tonight, but I did just get groceries. I'll show a grocery haul and we'll have food for the next couple of days. Here's a grocery haul. Got a couple of flowers, peaches, cause I have been on my peach kick as you guys know. I also brought my reusable bags and then halfway through I forgot to give them to him. And so he had already bagged half of them. So I just didn't say anything. I probably should have. Got some frozen berries and some veggies. I've never had these, but these are just roasted baby golden potatoes. These looked really, really good. Sweet potato tots, because why not? Dark chocolate and these peanut butter cups from Justin's, which are the best. I actually ate one of those in the car. Simple Mills cookies. I really like these because I like the ingredients in them. Ran out of coffee, so I picked up some coffee. I wanted to make this shrimp pasta tonight. It's like a shrimp linguine, and it looks so good. It came up on my Instagram, but I don't have time, so I'm gonna make it tomorrow, but I got some Bonza noodles for that. Aiden likes highballs, so I picked him up some highballs, and then a few different things for the pasta recipe I'm gonna make. Reason why I went to Whole Foods was because I was getting shrimp, and if I'm making shrimp, seafood, or even just steaks, I really like to get Whole Foods meat because it's really good. The guy was so nice. He was telling me all about how they source these from Florida, these specific shrimp, and they're like some of the best ever. He could have just been saying that, but he's so nice and he's always there. His name is Jeffrey, so he's always giving me the fact. Got some Siggy's yogurt. I got some of these good culture cottage cheeses. I really like these as a snack. Giovanni yogurt. Some of these Vermont cheddar slices, those are the best. I've been drinking half and half in my milk. I'll just do a little bit of maple syrup, half and half and cinnamon, and I really like that. And then the last bag we have right here, and I just got a big container of salad mix because we pretty much have salad every night with dinner. Chicken thighs for a recipe I'm gonna make. And then a couple of the Starbucks Blonde Rose cold brews, which are my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away, eat some dinner tonight, and just chill out. Have a nice, cozy, rainy. Drive safe. Oh, so 
dropped off Aiden at work because we have a full day and I needed the car So I'm gonna pick him up later, but I just got back home It's about 9 15 and I just walked cash this morning and now I'm about to go work out and I wanted to share That I found this workout set. I was wearing it earlier with the bottoms I found it from Kristen John. She shared it on her story It's an Amazon set and it is so cute in such nice quality. It's such thick material So I'm wearing the top today I'm gonna go just do a quick run and then also a little bit of abs probably just like two miles and then an ab workout and I also really like the shorts, but they are just a little bit too short for me for working out I prefer longer athletic biker shorts And so I'm just wearing these ones that are from story But I wanted to share it because I love this top I think it's so cute and really supportive especially for going for a run. I feel like it's gonna be great I really like the little keyhole design. I'll have this one linked on my Amazon storefront too It'll be linked down below But I'm wearing a size medium too and I would say I'm typically a small and I'm glad I sized up So really like it, but we're gonna go ahead and get a workout in and allowing your body to expand in maybe a way that it never has given the opportunity to expand before. And now that I've expanded into myself, and yes, now I'm buying sizes that are way above what I used to buy. My hips do not fit into shorts that I wore even like a year or two ago. Absolutely not. That is not how our physiology actually wants to express in our bodies. We want softness and roundness and I'm so attracted to the softness of the way that a woman's body can, can hold herself. Showered, back from my workout and I'm currently getting ready because I'm gonna go to my nail appointment first and then I'm going straight to the tea party. Not the tea party, I'm st going straight to the tea kind of like a tea party. And so that is why I just threw on this dress. This was in my newly order. I think I'm gonna show a newly try on haul when I get back. I also posted on Instagram, but I figured I could do it in this video too. But yeah, I'm getting ready right now. I did wanna share because I've been doing these waves here lately because for some reason lately when I've been curling my hair, the curls just have not been staying. I have pretty straight hair. So a lot of times the curls just don't stay well. It may be because it's a little bit more humid lately. My hair just holds these waves a lot better so I wanted to share because I've gotten a few questions this tool is just from Amazon I think it's like around $50 or so so it's not crazy crazy expensive and I've had it for a couple months now and it's held up well so I will link this below as well I feel like I got a lot of links in this video but lots of things I've been sharing this is the dress from my newly order that I showed I think it's really cute it's a little bit short for me I normally don't like things this short just because I don't like when things blow up so I am actually wearing shorts underneath the shorts that I was wearing from the set which worked out because they're cream shoes are from Madewell except I got these a while ago so I don't think they still sell them <laughs> Just got to my nail appointment. I go to Rose Couture Nail Bar in Dallas. I think today I'm gonna do the Hailey Bieber nails that everyone's been doing, the kind of like chrome neutral nails. I actually haven't got my nails done in a bit of time. I have very short nails right now, and so I do think I'm gonna get acrylics back on, which I haven't had for a while, but I'm just kind of in the mood to have longer nails again so i think that's the game plan but i wanted to say i've shared this podcast before but i've been listening to the freely rooted podcast i found them when i was going off of the pill and trying to learn more about kind of like hormones and hormonal health after especially getting off birth control and this episode is so good this is their first one back for season two and i have a link down below i put a little snippet in when i was getting ready but it has just been really enlightening i feel like every single episode i'm just squeezing out all of this knowledge and this one i'm pretty Particular, talked a lot about the relationship between your mind and your body and your spirit when it comes to health and it's funny because I just talked about in that vlog actually getting bigger pants and not fitting into some of my clothes and obviously I shared that little snippet and it just kind of made me think of when I mentioned that so I definitely wanted to include that but I have about five minutes to my appointment so I'm gonna go ahead and head up I just have to say these are probably some of my most favorite nails I have ever gotten especially for our anniversary I just think they're so 
classy and it was so funny when I showed him my inspiration he was like another Hailey Bieber set so I guess they're very popular right now but I did want to mention that I see Steven at Rose Nail Couture Bar he did Funny Bunny by OPI as the base and then over top of that he did an OPI chrome and it was in the color Tin Man can so that is the combo I wanted to make sure to ask this time because sometimes I'll get questions and that's what he did gonna go head over to the Adolphus now and meet Melissa now tea was so much fun i would highly recommend doing that if you're in the dallas area especially for like a birthday that would be super cute or a bridal shower or something like that i feel like it's such a fun idea it is kind of pricey so i will say i personally think it was so worth it we had two different kinds of teas and then they bring out a bunch of like lunch pastries and then a bunch of desserts which were personally my favorite and then and then for the alice in wonderland theme they also were giving out free champagne which is really nice and i'm not usually a huge champagne person but it was really good champagne so ton of fun every time i come back though from being out i always cuddle cash on the bed so we're just hanging out and i'm about to go pick up aiden though i'm gonna go pick him up from work and then head back here on our balcony and now it is time for dinner and i have been wanting to make this recipe for so long as it came up on my reels and i'm making it for dinner tonight i'm so pumped it's a light and garlicky shrimp scampi pasta but it says it has a roasted chicken flavor so it looks so good probably also going to do a side salad with it too and just get some vegetables in to change into my pjs i still need to wash my face off though so i still have my makeup on it's time to unwind <laughs> shower right now we are about to watch a show and i just had to say that the pasta was amazing you have to make it if you like shrimp i'm not even like a big shrimp pasta person but it was so good and so easy so definitely make it i will have the reel that i follow linked down below if you guys want to check it out but we're about to have a nice little evening watching something and then head to bed happy friday i'm sporting some major lion hair energy today i'm having a day of just editing getting things in order and i'm so excited because this weekend i'm building an herb garden which i'm really excited about and i think we are finally going to put together our bedroom a little bit so that's going to be in a different vlog but i'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog but i did want to include a newly try on haul at the end of this i actually recorded this earlier this week and just never previewed it and so these are all the pieces that i got from newly this month this isn't sponsored but it's the clothing rental service that i use and i wanted to share a little try on haul because i always love including these in my vlog so i'm going to cue that right here here's the first piece this is just the perfect kind of summer dress and even in texas it's not really warm until much later so i could definitely wear this in the fall too i think this is the perfect august dress because it is so hot here right now it's very just airy and then i also really like how the back is pretty open too and the colors are really pretty i don't know why pink and yellow were just my colors this month so really like this piece i believe it's free people too this one's a little bit fancier because i'm actually thinking of wearing this one to our anniversary dinner we are going on a trip for our anniversary and there's one night where we're doing kind of like a fancier dinner and i thought that it'd be fun just to have something that was very different i never really wear stuff like this and I think that it is just really beautiful. It's from For Love and Lovin'. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this though because I think the slit is a little bit too high for me. It is such a pretty dress though. Basically the entire back is open and it just has a very like asymmetrical 
top section and then that's the side but yeah the slit is just a little bit high for me but i think it's really flattering in the stomach area because it cinches right here and this one i think is so cute because you could either dress this one up or dress it down right here i just threw on my converse so definitely dress it down more but it is so comfortable i think that this one is from free people but i love this one i'm definitely going to take this also on our anniversary trip because i think it's just so fun and i also love the pink of course so definitely really like this one i do need to figure out the bra situation and also it's a little bit big in the top so i think i've seen it tie it a little bit tighter but once i figure that out i think it'll also be really cute i already knew i was gonna love this one because this is just a very me dress i love how the top cinches in the only thing that's a little bit weird about this and i saw this on the reviews is the shoulders they kind of i don't know they're just like a little bit big i think i got this one in a small or an extra small i don't remember but they're just a little bit big but other than that love the color love the yellow i think it's so pretty you could wear this for a bunch of different occasions i think i'm gonna wear this to the tee tomorrow but i really like it i think it's so beautiful i love the crochet on it i do wish it was a little bit longer my thighs are just a little bit thicker and so sometimes i feel like short stuff it just isn't super flattering when it's this length but I do still like it. I have it on with cowboy boots right now, but I probably won't end up wearing it with the cowboy boots. I'm just styling it for real right now. And I thought that they looked kind of cute with it since it's a little bit Western with the crochet. And here's the last piece. I've actually gotten this one before in pink and I loved it. I went ahead and got this really pretty gold color. Again, I need to figure out the bra situation, but I really like it. It's definitely kind of a different, it's just a different fit, but I really like it. I love how flowy it is, how airy it is and i think it's really cute and yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed again if you want to check out upside i'll have them linked down below if you guys want to download the app start getting some cash back on your purchases again i would definitely recommend it it's been saving us a lot of money here lately i am so thankful for you guys you guys mean so much to me i was sitting out on the balcony working earlier just sending in stuff to brands and getting some stuff done and i was just really overwhelmed with gratitude to be able to do this job and to create these videos for you guys so i say it pretty often but from the bottom of my heart thank you for being here thank you for watching these videos for supporting our family it means so much to me and yeah i'm just so grateful for you guys and i will catch you guys in my next video bye friends mm -hmm.